Good morning guys, this is Tom. Uh, so today will be a short video. Um, just replacing the stock antenna. Uh, mostly because um, it it's it's actually not a bad height. It's only a tiny bit taller than the truck. Um, it's hard to see in this picture. So like probably a couple inches. Uh, maybe, maybe like six. Um, you know, so it's really not bad and, and our garage is actually pretty high. Because um, our garage doors are... 10 feet wide and 9 feet high, uh, which is kind of an odd size, but um, so it doesn't hit the door or anything, but it just, what I'm having happen is like, you know, on the highway, it's kind of like, it's it's like bending way back here and then it's whistling, um, which, you know, the, the inside of the new F-150 is way quieter than any vehicle I've ever been in other than, you know, like a luxury car, um, but I just wanted to get something a little shorter uh, that maybe, you know, won't whistle, so I got this, um, Raiden Air. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the pronunciation, but it's a seven inch rubber antenna. Um, I see some people got some really short ones that were like almost like, you know, like this, but they're like fixed and they don't bend at all. So I was hoping that this one would have a little flex so I wouldn't have to take it off in like car washes and things like that. Um, so we'll see, you know, how, how it is, but let's, uh, let's open up this box. Um, so as you can see, that's the antenna. And then it comes with a, um, basically a little it's two two different threads you know a little kind of bolt that goes on both sides so let's um let's take off the stock one i uh a lot of old antennas actually have like uh where you can use like um uh like a wrench or something on it but this one doesn't really have that it's more just rubbery you probably have to use like some vice grips or something like that on there i mean it is kind of squared off so you probably could use one but I, honestly this is how loose mine was. <laughs> it was not really attached very well, so I'm kind of glad that I that I did this. Sorry, it's getting a little blurry. So that's uh, that's the stock antenna. Um, I don't think that piece comes out. That's why they come with their own. So let's uh, set that down, and then let me uh, let me grab the tripod so I can use both hands. All right, guys. So real quick before we uh, do the antenna swap, I just popped it popped it back on real quick because I wanted to see um, where we live. Uh, we're pretty far from from the city we live, so I wanted to see if the audio quality on the radio was was any different with this antenna. So I'm just gonna flip on an AM channel. Um, I know that's not gonna be the same as FM. It just you know because it's not a um, you know it's it's easier to kind of hear the kind of the, the poor quality on an AM channel. So let's flip the audio on real quick and, and see how the quality is. It's 100% of the grid is smashed. We have report of hundreds of telephone poles that snapped, uh, hundreds of reports of trees that fell on power lines and just swept them out. So it's um, unfortunately news on the hurricane. So obviously our thoughts were with everyone in uh, in Louisiana. Um, the audio is uh, a little choppy, you know, definitely some static, uh, you know, it's not, not the greatest. So let's, uh, let's swap out that antenna and see if the, the audio, audio quality gets any worse. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is because, as I mentioned, there's two different threads on here. Let's see if it'll focus. Um, we need to match up, you know, which, which side should go into the antenna and then which side goes on the truck. Um, so it looks like the coarse thread, these match up, um, the coarse threads match up uh, to what goes in the truck. So it'll go like this, basically. So let's um, I'll just set this down. Let's open this up. Get the antenna out. And then, so like I said, so the coarse end goes in the truck, fine end goes in the antenna. Honestly, I'm not a super huge fan of the carbon fiber um, look, but you know, it was it was fine. I'm not gonna complain. All right, so that should be nice and tight. So see, it's got you know good amount of flex. I don't think it's gonna you know in the car wash, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, you know, definitely it does move a little bit to, at the base, so I'll have to keep an eye on it. I know some people take their antennas off before they go in the car wash, but. Uh, you know, I think that that's fine. It looks a lot better, and hopefully, it doesn't, uh, um, you know, whistle as bad um, on the highway. So let's uh, let's pop back into the truck and then see uh, see if the uh, audio quality's gotten any worse. Or I'm, I'm fine if it doesn't, you know, 
I'm not expecting it to be better or anything like that, but uh, I just don't want it to not work at all, you know, that kind of thing. All right, so we're back in the truck, so let's flip the audio back on. Next connection. Going into the Hall of Fame, Peyton Manning says... Definitely more staticky. He says safety innovation... Which, you know, is not... Uh, we'll talk about the future of... Not the end of the world. I, I kind of expected, you know, a shorter antenna, you know, um, to be, you know, not as good. Um, you know, it still works, but uh, I don't listen to the radio that often. Um, so the, uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. Most of the time I use the wireless Android Auto, and then that automatically plays my, you know, stations from iHeartRadio. Uh, you know, so that automatically starts when I get in the truck. So I'm not listening to, you know land or terrestrial based radio that often so it's not not the end of the world but um you know i definitely would say that the the audio quality at least on the am side has gone down um i didn't really try the fm side uh you know i'll uh um, put a comment in the description below if uh, if i notice a difference on that at all um but yeah so that's uh that's kind of the the install process and kind of my first impressions of the uh you know that that antenna and i'll put a link to it in the description below overall you know i'm happy with it i, I didn't expect too much it was like 20 bucks on amazon so um you know not uh, not the end of the world so if you guys like this video please like and, and subscribe to the channel uh, appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video